He was a really good guy. It's skydiving community is really feeling the loss. A friend of a skydiving instructor who apparently lost his life in the air yesterday during a tandem jump is crediting him with the safe landing of his student. The St. Tammany Parish Sheriff and Coroner's offices are continuing their investigation into what happened during the skydiving accident. It appears 58-year-old instructor Ben Crowell of Alabama may have died in the air before he and his student hit the ground on a Slidell golf course yesterday. The student survived. Meg Ferris has more. A friend of Ben Kroll says he's jumped all over the world and has been in the sport for nearly 35 years. Ben is uh, probably the most experienced skydiving instructor or skydiver in general that I had ever met and probably will meet for a very, very long time. Cameron Fontenot is now an instructor at Skydive Lone Star in Luling, Texas, and says Ben was a master rigger, teaching how to pack parachutes and make safe dives. He also made straps so paraplegics could skydive. Oh, man, I did it! Cameron says Ben was a husband, father, and grandfather, a loyal friend and serviceman. A lot of his military service is kind of on the classified side. He spent, oh, 22 or more years in the Coast Guard, and I think he also did a little bit of operations with the Navy. Eyewitness News has learned that his student, Caroline Keenan Russell, is out of the hospital. She's getting well wishes on Facebook, thanking everyone for the love, writing she's okay and will be dancing again soon. She also let Ben's family know she's thinking of them. Cameron believes this onboard computer, an automatic activation device, is why Caroline is home today. If the skydiver's speed is too fast and the altitude too low, it automatically deploys the reserve or emergency chute. The reason that she's alive is because Ben turned on that computer before they made the jump, so bless your heart, Ben. In some way, shape, or form, Ben has probably saved hundreds of people's lives. And Cameron tells us that every year skydiving instructors have to go through a high-level medical exam with an FAA medical examiner. He also said that in 2016, the U.S. Parachute Association found that out of four million jumps, there was one tandem incident where the pair died, and many of the other 19 deaths were from experienced skydivers doing extraordinary stunts. Meg, thank you. The same